This is a, a product, Sure Creek, everything Sure Creek, that's the brand using. It's the flexible concrete waterproofer. What it is, a single component acrylic modified product with a fine aggregate that's in the product already. So when you roll it out, if you can feel the board, it, you feel the, the non-slip texture already in it. One of the unique features of this product is we can tint it any color you want in our stores, which is nice. So you can use color combinations, you can use solid colors, whatever you want. What I'm doing here is I roll down one color, same product, I just taped off a random design. You can see I'm not a, an applicator, but you'll get the idea. And then I'm going to spray with a hopper gun or a texture sprayer the same product, but in a little deeper color. Now this can be any color combinations you want. For example, if you wanted a, a, a gray color for your brick, uh, your mortar joint, uh, you could do that, your grout line. Uh, so you can do a, a couple different things. I'm going to shoot this now through a hopper gun. Certainly by adjusting your air, you can um, get different textures. So, and you'll see how fast and easy it is to spray. I'm going to go with this much air. I'm going to kind of cover it like 85%. little bit and get a bigger splatter. this product, it wasn't designed to do it, but it just does it. When you go with the splatter, in the process of it drying, it'll flatten out. So it's almost like having a knockdown without knocking it down. Um, naturally, you would wait for this to dry. Um, I just put the coat on here uh, this morning before you all came and it's dry. This, if this were out in the sun, in a half hour, 40 minutes, you could walk on that. So you could pull your tape or your stencil if you're going to use one. And I'm going to do that prematurely, but I want to say one more thing. Picture this as a pool deck. And let's say you went with this color, or these two colors, and it had uh, umbrellas uh, on a pool. Maybe they were hunter green or terracotta. You can mix some of this up and through the hopper gun and just hit the gun like raindrops. So it comes down with an accent color. I mean to tell you, it is really, really attractive. It looks great. When it dries, then go ahead and put your clear sealer. Uh, we have several clear sealers. Uh, we have a clear acrylic. That's a good sealer. Very inexpensive. Goes a long way. One gallon, you'll get two, three hundred square feet out of it. I would suggest on a pool deck, I would go with two coats. You started one end, by the time you're done, you could go ahead and put the second coat. So you don't have to come back and, and you know, the cost of uh, going back and forth to a job. You can start this job and finish it easily in two days. And that's surface prep and everything else. So for the owner on a pool, especially a commercial pool, that's money in their pocket. They love that. So just because I want you to see, to get an idea with the tape, naturally it's not dry yet, but you'll get the idea. Make this product with a sheen. You won't need to use a clear seal. It'll be an option. It'll be an option. Again, if it's really high use, I would probably still recommend using at least one coat of clear. The clear sealer is going to help keep it clean and make it more stain resistant. This product, when it dries, is a flat sheen, and with the aggregate, it could pick up dirt. So you do want to go ahead and put a clear sealer on this. Now. Uh, we sell a lot of this product because of the non-slip texture to uh, 
where they have stairs, stairwells, like condos and things like that. And just to give you an idea, because even older people are trying to stay healthy today, the first three floors, you'll want to put a clear sealer. After that, you probably don't need the clear sealer because it's not getting a lot of use, if that makes sense. So if it's about money, you can say, hey, you might want to put a sealer on the first three floors. After that, you don't need it. So, and that's just an option. You can give them that option, showing that you care. You're trying to help them save money. But you get an idea what you can do with that product. Any color, any color combination. Um, uh, one, if it already has a texture stain, there's a knockdown finish on it already, which some do. Because that, you know, the old cool deck days, you know, that was popular. And a lot of that, the laminates and, and cracks up. What you could do is pressure wash and while still clean, or, you know, wet, damp, we have a product called Thin Coat. You could actually skim over the whole deck and flatten it out if you wanted to. That way you could get rid of some imperfections in the deck get rid of the existing design if you wanted to, or just make the repairs and just put this right over it and use the design they had, but you're making it fresh again. It's, you know, you're, you're making it, you're refreshing it. It looks brand new again. One of the associations today, and they all have plain concrete, step out stoops and more. Eight or nine different colors. Uh, four different colors of beiges, some grays, some greens. This one here is kind of kind of beige. -y. You want to put down a base coat of product first. I would suggest a flexible concrete waterproofer as one of your base colors that's similar to the color quartz you pick. Because when this goes down, it's going to go down milky. You'll see that. When it dries, it dries crystal clear. That's all you're going to see is the color of the quartz beads. So if you didn't have a good substrate, say you were going to try and shoot over this, you'd get a lot of mirroring through. You wouldn't have a consistent color. But you will get a little bit of rebound on this, but once it gets airborne, it doesn't stick to anything, which is kind of neat. So I'll try not to get anybody. trowel it, which you would do um, like for uh, a wainscoat interior, because you can use this right over drywall uh, with a coat of base, you know, paint, paint over it, like our Promar 200, Promar 400. You can trowel this as well. And when you trowel it, you, you only want one and a half times the uh, width of the bead, or the depth of the bead. So you, you, wrote, you go down to the tight. What I don't like about troweling is you're going to get cheddar marks. I don't care how good you are at trowel. That's what I don't like about trowel. Now, I'm not good at troweling, but I mean, you could probably put it on maybe a little thicker. I could probably get rid of some of them. When that dries, that'll be crystal clear. Now there, we'd want to spray just a little heavier. Of course, here you can see where we didn't put enough down. But you get the idea. When that dries, that's all you're going to see is the color of the beans. Pretty neat. Very durable. When it, when it dries, you could take a coin and scratch it. You'll wear a coin up before you scratch that. Vertical, you don't need a clear sealer. If you're going to do a pool deck or a balcony or, or a lanai, and do that, you'll want to put a clear sealer. Two coats of clear. So use a good sealer when you're using this prop. But it's going to be a Surecrete HD urethane clear sealer. This, when you shoot this down, I would say give it at least, uh, I wouldn't put a clear sealer on until next morning on this one. Now, if you're going to tape off designs with this prop, you either 
pull, it, uh, pull the tape off as soon as you can. If it's a small enough area, you can do that. Or wait till the next day when it's completely dry. What will happen is this will skin over the acrylic in it. Creates like, it looks like cellophane. You start pulling it during this cure process, and you'll pull up the edges. So wait till it's completely dry or now. But you wouldn't be able to do that on a job. So wait till the next day when it's dry, pull the tape, you'll have nice crisp lines, and then go ahead and put your clear sealer on. The tape, the tape you want to use is a fiber tape. Just